Cedric says we're good to go. All right, Cedric says we're good to go. We're good to go. In October of last year, which is the last month of the CSN tour of last year, we were just talking about buses. Well, Shane and I share a bus, so usually when we're amped after a show, you know, it's very hard to come down. You know, you, you know, you come from, you know, thousands of people adoring you to blank walls. You know, so on the bus afterwards, very often we just get our guitars out and just start playing. So we wrote 20 songs in a month and recorded 20 songs in eight days. Uh, it, was an, it was incredible. I'd never, I'd, I'd never been in this situation before. I normally, of course, know who I'm recording with, <laughs> right? But this was the first time I ever went into the studio and shook the drummer's hand and said, hi, I'm Graham, what's your name, Jay? Okay, well, let's start recording. <laughs> Because Shane put together a really great backing mm. uh, band for, for, the, for this record, and Shane's producing mm. it. So we'd like to do one of those songs from it. This one's called Myself at Last. Two, three. <laughs> slowly fading and the night comes on so fast I'm drowning in my dreams it's so hard to fight my past when all is said and done so hard to count the cost I'm rolling down this lonesome road to lose myself at last and the day that breaks before me Past. And the question haunting me Is my future just my past? So I'm screaming at the universe Just enough to make her laugh what's lost and I'm rolling down this lonesome road to lose myself at last But 
they all went by so fast I was drifting on an ocean blue Like a ship without a mast Save my soul at last And I'm rolling down This lonesome road To find myself at last And I'm rolling down This lonesome road But I found myself at last I found myself at last Thank you. Yeah. Interesting to try and make music at this time of day. <laughs> <laughs> Normally I'm still sleeping, I think. Um, okay. Let's, um, let's do something a little different. What we're going to do now is tell you a couple of things and then sing a song. What I'm about to tell you is that Joni Mitchell is out of the hospital. She's alert. She's awake. She's speaking. She's making a slow recovery, and they expect a full recovery soon. So that's the story on Joan, uh, because a lot of our audience, of course, love Joni's music, of course, as we all do. So I just wanted to pass that on to you. Um, and now we're going to... Um, I say this on my shows, and I tell people, a lot of people are very interested in, in how songs get created, why, what, what headspace we were in when you did that, right, you know. And here's a perfect example. One morning I took Joni to breakfast in Los Angeles, and after breakfast we're walking back to her car, and we pass an antique store. And she's looking in the window, and I was too, you know, I'm always curious about antique stores. And she saw a vase that she liked, so she bought it. And we went back to her house in Laurel Canyon. It was one of those gray, drizzly Los Angeles mornings, as sometimes happens. And uh, I said, hey, why don't I light a fire and you put some flowers in that vase that you just bought today? <laughs> I swear, that's how it happened. And, you know, so Joni went into the garden to, to get some flowers. That means she wasn't at a piano, and that means that I was. And I rode our house in probably about an hour and a half. Um, but we've never done it this way. Well, maybe once, a sound check or something. I'll light the fire You place the flowers in the vase That you bought today Staring at the fire For hours and hours While I listen to you Play your love song all night long for you Only for me Come to me now And rest your head for just five minutes So hard Now everything is easy 
because of you of you Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Right before I left the Hollies, I had a, a kind of a writing spurt myself. I mean, in, in one night I wrote uh, Lady of the Island right between the eyes and started uh, this, this song that I'm going to play next. Uh, I didn't realize when I wrote it just how long it, that this particular piece of music uh, lasts. I, it's, it's kind of amazing to me. I got a call from a friend of mine who was in Kathmandu, of all places, sitting in a cafe and teacher children came on the radio, right? And uh, what, what an incredible thing as a writer and as a musician to know that the words and the melodies that you write can make it around the world for a long time. This music thing is pretty good. I suggest all of you pick up a guitar <laughs> and, and start that. <laughs> Two. Must have a code that you can live by, and so become yourself because the past is just a goodbye. Teach your children well, their father's help. It slowly go by and feed them on your dreams. The one they pick is the one you know by. Don't you ever ask them why if they told you you would cry. So just look at them and sigh. Their children's hell 
will slowly go by and feed them on your dreams. The one they pick is the one you know by. Don't you ever ask them why if they told you you would cry. So just look at them. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you for coming to see us. I know it's early, but hey, we have the rest of the day to get on with, right? <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate it. My friend Shane Fontaine over here.